In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up and run Java in Visual Studio Code on Windows 11. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, we need to download and install the Java JDK in order to run Java and set it up into our Visual Studio Code. So first of all, open your favorite browser and just right here, download JDK. It will give you the link to the official website of Oracle. Just go to that particular link and from here, click on the latest version of JDK available. We want to download it for the Windows operating system. That is why go for that option. I'll go with X64 MSI installer. I'll just click on this particular link and it will download a JDK for us. As you can see, the process has just begun. We'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the download of our JDK. So in order to install it, let's double click on it. Before we start the installation process, let's confirm that it is not already installed and available into our Windows 11. So for that, open your command prompt and write here Java space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. Here it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. Let's check Java C as well. It is also not installed. It means we have to install it. Now click on next. This is the directory where it is going to get installed. Again, click on next. And now the installation process has just begun. We are done with the installation of our JDK. I'll just click on close. And now again, I'll look for my CMD or command prompt. Now, if I write here Java space hyphen hyphen version, hit enter. Here, if you see here, it says Java 18.0.1.1 version. Let's check Java C. So again, the command is same, but only we need to enter C at the end of Java and Java C is also installed into our Windows 11. Now we are good to go with all the prerequisite. Now let's head to our Visual Studio Code. This is our Visual Studio Code. First of all, I'll add a folder to my workspace. I'll head to my desktop. I'll create a new folder and I'll name it as Programming. After that, I'll hit enter, I'll click on add and click on yes. Now I'll click on my programming and click on this icon that says new file. I will name this file as coding.java. Make sure to enter .java at the end of your file name because this is the extension and that will make sure that compiler or Visual Studio Code knows that this file belongs to Java programming language. Now just hit enter and now we have successfully created our Java file. Let's add some of the code in here. So first of all, I'll write here class coding and after that I'll have my curly braces and this is the boundary of my coding class. In that I'll call my main. So I'll write here public static void main and inside my main I'll call my string and that will be string and after that I'll write here ARGS that stands for arguments after that I'll have my curly braces and now we are good to go now we can write anything or we can print any message inside our main so I'll write here system dot out dot print ln and inside it I'll have my message so I will write here welcome to first Java program if I try to run this program I will have an error because I did not have added or included extensions for Java here if you see here it says do you want to install the recommended extensions for Java? This will be Java extension pack. Just click on this install button and it will install the extension pack for Java on its own into your Visual Studio code. In case if it doesn't show up, just click on this extension button 
and click on this particular search area and in that you can write extension pack for java and here you see it has shown you all those related thing so we want to install this one that is why we we'll leave everything as it is let it get installed and then we'll move ahead we are done with the installation of our extension pack for java now it's time to add one more extension and that is code runner and hit enter here it will give you all those options related to this particular input this is the one that we need to install i have already installed it that is why i do not need to install it again i'll just close this extension window and i'll close this one as well this is how our code looks like so i will just save this program and let's try to run this one so here if you see here is the output that says welcome to first java program now let's try to modify this program and let's try to add something that will take the input from the user i will edit this one and i'll not create a new one first of all we need to include some of the things first of all i'll write here import space java dot util dot scanner enter and enter semicolon at the end of it we are done with the inclusion of our scanner library now we are good to go inside our main we need to add one more thing in here and that will be scanner space input equals new scanner and inside the brackets i'll have system dot in at the end we'll have our semicolon and now we are good to go so let's have a message that will say enter your first name so i will just modify this message i will write here enter first name after that in order to store this input i will write here string name 1 equals input dot next and this is how our input will get stored that will be entered by the user now let's have another message in which we'll have another message that will say enter your second name so i'll just copy these two lines and i will just paste them it will save us a lot of time i will just change the message i will write here enter second name and in terms of variable instead of name 1 i'll write here name 2 and here we are good to go at the end to print out the result let's have a print statement so i will write here system dot out dot print ln and inside my brackets i will have a string that will say your name is and after my inverted commas i'll have a plus sign plus sign stands for concatenation in java so i'll write here name 1 plus name 2 which is the second variable and we are good to go now if i save this file or save this program and now if i try to run this one here it says enter first name it will not allow us to do so because it is in read only mode to get rid of this problem go to your file section and go to your preferences then click on settings from here write run in terminal inside the search bar at the top scroll down you will see something that will say run in terminal here if you see here we have that option just check this check box and close this settings window and make sure to reopen your visual studio code so that the changes can take place so we are back with our visual studio code now let's rerun our program so i'll just click on run java and let's see if it is allows us to enter the input or not if i try to write here zubair yes it is allowing us to enter the input from the terminal for second name i'll write here aslam13 hit enter so basically this is the output and that shows we are successfully adding and getting the input and output onto our terminal and that also shows that java is running successfully into our visual studio code onto our windows 11 that brings us to the end of today's video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll get back to you in the next video till then take care